iSCSI is primarily viewed in the SMB market where it is located today. We, we believe that uh, Fiber Channel has a very dominant place in that SMB market because we think um, iSCSI technology doesn't uh, give you that investment protection that Fiber Channel does with these new data centers, with the new um, consolidated virtualized data centers. What we try to do is we try to explain it in, in certain contexts where we believe you know iSCSI does have its place, but more importantly, Fiber Channel is more of the investment protection vehicle. So I have that conversation a lot with a lot of different customers in the press. They say, well, is, is Fiber Channel dead, all right? Or is it is it going away and, and everything will go to iSCSI or go to Ethernet? And I always laughed at that, uh, laugh at that question because um, every time they say, well, Fiber Channel, there is, there is no more. Uh, it's not going to progress any further. Um, they always find a new way to enhance the, the technology and try to leverage it in new ways. And that's how FCOE came out. So Fiber Channel over Ethernet is really not a new protocol, right? It is really Fiber Channel. And all it is is encapsulated over Ethernet. So all your features and functionalities that you get out of Fiber Channel reside in, in FCOE today. So if you're familiar with a Fiber Channel and you have a Fiber Channel network, um, you'll be very comfortable in an FCOE environment. Well, it's not really a migration of FC to FCOE, right? You have to understand the, the use case of FCOE. It, unfortunately, or fortunately, depends on how you look at it today, there's only one use case for it today, which is really around uh, adapter consolidation or adapter or interface consolidation on the server itself. There are no storage FCOE target today. Um, the only vendor out there that will have one in 09 uh, will be NetApp. You know, without any targets for FCOE, you know, I hear a lot of uh, discussion in the press and, well, this, this is going to be the new converged network, and we just don't see that because the until the storage vendors decide that they want to have targets set up and there's a use cases on the storage side, it'll primarily be a uh, an adapter or an interface consolidator on the server and in, inside of those um, blade chassis. What you'll have is a, um, a top of rack, what they what the industry is calling a top of rack solution. So you have all your all your servers that sit inside of a inside of a server rack, and at the top of that rack will be an FCO suite, FCOE switch. Uh, part of it will have uh, FCOE ports, and part of it will have uh, you know 10 gig e ports, right? So that way it can talk to both sides of the network. It can talk to the uh, it can talk to the to the Ethernet side as well as through the to the fiber channel side. But we believe that you know iSCSI does have its limitations around its features and functionality. Um, it's not always about bandwidth. It's not you know it's not just the bandwidth capabilities, but more around the management of that bandwidth. Where a smaller customer may see iSCSI as a cheap alternative to network storage today, whether it be as its only network interconnect or as it's used as a technology to uh, drag in some of those servers with applications on there that are just you can't justify the value of those things to put fiber channel HBAs on them to bring them onto the SAN. They use iSCSI in many different use cases. One as a standalone, also to drag in those um, what we call those um, stranded servers. They're those servers that aren't on the SAN today. So it, it does have a use case and, and they're out there today, but uh, that's where FCOE can come in and FCOE can take care of some of those stranded servers to give you those uh, management features that you need in an iSCSI environment. And if an SMB is just planning on having a, uh, a few standalone servers um, and they, they don't plan on virtualizing their, their server environment, I think an SMB will probably work you know, just fine. When that iSCSI network starts to grow or when your server base starts to grow or if you start to virtualize, that's when fiber that's when you'll probably need a fiber channel network. Uh, FCOE is not a replacement for fiber channel. Fiber channel is growing. It's a very large market. The storage vendors have it as really their only interconnect to the SAN today. So what, what FCOE is, um, really it's used to supplement your fiber channel and allow some features and functionality such as to consolidate some of your adapters that are on the servers for a number of reasons, right? You can use it for power saving, to gain extra real estate in your server, for ease of management. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why customers will probably look at FCOE in that use case within, within the server market. Convert Converged enhanced Ethernet uh, is a standard that, that hopefully will be uh, completed you know, by the end of 08. And the, and the interesting part about CEE is that it's, it's a brand new Ethernet. It's not your existing Ethernet. CEE is the base requirement for FCOE. You cannot run FCOE over an older Ethernet network. You have to upgrade your entire Ethernet network to run FCOE. And so the CEE network has the characteristics of a fiber channel network. Well, InfiniBand only has one use case, right? And that's interconnect between the servers. What CE gives you is the interconnect between the servers and you can layer FCOE on top of it and use it for additional interface consolidation within the server. So 